All right, here we are. SK again. SK. Today, I guess I'm going to consider the first official day of getting ready for drag week. It is February 15th, 2020. And this is it. This is it, guys. Getting ready for drag week starting today. I got the kids right here sitting up front with me. I'm going to go inside. They're going to get a little, uh, hey, how you doing refill here. All right? So, see you later. All right, guys. We're gonna be uh, working on the car today. We got um, some nitrous to deal with. We're actually gonna um, just take a look at the tune-up on this um, because after reviewing some of the data logs during drag week, um, you know, the car was adding. You know, the computer was adding a lot of um, fuel during the runs, and um, I just want to double check. We're gonna flow this nitrous plate. And uh, you know, get a, get a new calculation and just make sure we're on with the uh, you know the added fuel for this thing because it is a dry dry nitrous setup. So um, that's what we're going to do today. All right. Once once we get the um, the plate flowed, we're going to do it twice. Um, get the average. See see how much nitrous is actually um, we're actually using. You know, <clears throat> per run. And um, we'll be able to figure out this number here. So right now, during drag week, I had it adding 58 pounds per hour of added fuel when the nitrous was activated. Um, but in my data log, in order to meet my target air fuel ratio of 12.8, it was adding up to 20%. So it was adding 20% more fuel to meet that 12.8 uh, air, air fuel ratio. Which, I mean, it's it's okay, but that's the max that I have this thing set to to correct. So, I mean, I got kind of kind of lucky. You know, it was you know, right on the line there where, um, you know, if it needed any more fuel and, you know, the system is only set to add, you know, up to 20% and it couldn't, you know, it, it could have damaged the engine. All right, we got the plate mounted off, tie strapped. So when we actuate this, it's gonna be done through the Holly software for 10 seconds. The plate's probably gonna lift a little bit like that. And it's gonna come out of the perimeter. We time that for 10 seconds after we weigh the bottle. And then there's some uh, formulas that we need to do for that. Then we can calculate our pounds per hour. Yeah, in the tub, in the tub. Rub-a-dub-dub. In the tub. Okay. So, weighing the nitrous bottle. It's a full bottle. You saw us giving it a bath. This scale, we got 1077. Free shipping? Free shipping. Yeah, it's very delicate though. You have bucks. to be so careful. All right, so we got 24 pounds, 15.3 ounces. So, we're gonna run the test. 10 seconds, and we're gonna see what uh, difference we have and reweigh it, yeah. And that'll uh, give us our pounds per hour. And we'll do a calculation with that. Go ahead. We're 
dang it. So for 10 seconds, what we got 23 pounds, 2.8 ounces. It was at nine, but then it shifted to eight. All right, as in our example here, the weight of our full bottle converted to ounces was 399.3. The weight of the used bottle after the 10 seconds was 370.9 ounces. So we take the 399.3 minus the 379.9 and we get 28.4 ounces. Convert that back to pounds and we got 1.775 pounds in 10 seconds. This 10 seconds has nothing to do with your ET or anything. This has to do with the math and making it easier to get pounds per hour. So if we take the 1.775 times 6, we get pounds per minute and then times 60 then we get the pounds per hour which is 639 pounds per hour in our case you can shortcut this by multiplying 1.775 in our case times 360 and that will give you the same result then you need to convert the pounds per hour to a usable number for the holly fuel enrichment table you have to use nitrous to fuel ratio not to be confused with air fuel ratio. You can use this anywhere between seven and 12. We chose 10, so 639 pounds per hour divided by 10 is 63.9, rounded up to 64. That's the number we're gonna put in there. As you can see in our chart, we were actually pretty low and that's why the system was adding uh, more fuel to get to that point. Also, your base map should be spot on correcting as little as possible five percent plus or minus it will just make this work a lot easier drag week